All right, fellas. So I'm going to make this uh, uh, video and, and separate it into three sections. Uh, but the the overall video is about the uh, the ignition uh, on, on the D21 on this one anyway. Um, dealing with um, upgrading and modifying parts. So the first part would be uh, the spark plugs. Uh, I've used these before when I first got this truck. I uh, replaced the stock spark plugs with these Iridium spark plugs and the truck ran so much better. The idle was way way smoother. Uh, the truck was a little bit more responsive and this, the improvement was especially in the um, uh, miles per gallon. It, that jumped up big time. Um, the second part has to do with the uh, distributor and the third part has to do with the uh, uh, ignition control module so I'm going to set up the, this in the front of the tripod and, and the again the first I'm, I'm going to do the easiest part first and do the spark plug so I'll be right back Okay, so I'm done with the uh, spark plugs, and if you noticed, I only did uh, the intake side. That's for a particular reason uh, uh, that falls along with uh, the distributor and the uh, ignition coil and the ignition control module. Um, so a while back, uh, several months ago, actually. Um, if you notice over here, I only have the intake side uh, coil and control module. I purposely unplugged this just to save time, but essentially I've only been running on the intake side. The exhaust side is, even though the wires are connected to the cap, they're actually not, not being used at all. Because um, I don't have the exhaust side. So what happened was, uh, even though I had fixed, I had a... Um, pretty good uh, uh, power steering fluid leak um, and um, it caused that leak caused the uh, exhaust side coil and especially the uh, control module to, to melt on me I actually ended up getting two of them but they both almost immediately melted if you look that's one of them. The coils are fine. It's really just the the modules that fried on me. And the reason that that happened was uh, um, 
there's one one uh, prong connection that goes to the uh, to the distributor, and and that connection is uh, in charge of the exhaust side coil and uh, control module. Uh, this aspect having to do, uh, as you guys know, this truck has uh, even though it's a four cylinder, it's got four spar part plugs for the exhaust and four for the intake. So there's three three uh, train of thoughts on this um, and each person is you know determined that what they think is right so one thought is uh, one school of thought is um, that all four um, or all eight spark plugs are firing at the same time all the time uh, the other train of thought is that um, the exhaust side only runs at idle and once you start to accelerate the exhaust side turns off and it's only the intake side that turns off the third school of thought is the opposite of that that uh, while you're at uh, your engine is at idle the intake is the side that's running and uh, once you accelerate the intake side shuts off and only the exhaust side is running from my experience, uh, it's the intake side that's always running and the exhaust side that only runs while you're at idle. And uh, the reason I say that is um, that wire that I just mentioned, that connection that uh, hooks up to your distributor, that side is the side, like I said, is in charge. It, it controls uh, the exhaust side coil and control module. And once you start accelerating and getting up to speed, that wire sends a signal to the uh, exhaust side and shuts it off. And at that point, again, you're only running on the intake side. So, but again, because uh, I had that uh, power steering leak at the time before I, before I had it fixed, um, that connection, that harness was completely covered and, get, and caked in uh, power steering fluid and dirt and grime and it uh, short-circuited and fried uh, uh, the, the control module. So since then, again, this has been several months now, I've only been running on the intake side uh, without any issues. I mean, obviously, again, uh, since the exhaust side isn't running at idle, uh, we are having um, um, those excessive exhausts aren't being burned off so you can smell it on the on the exhaust uh, by the tailpipe so again that's part of the reason that uh, and just installed these iridium spark plugs to increase that uh, the uh, that spark and uh, get that better burn um, and as far as the, the distributor um, goes uh, this, is, this is so much it's not really a mod uh, uh, would you consider a mod I'm just kind of switching the way it works uh, since we don't have the exhaust side um, coil hooked up to anything and that wire that uh, that's in charge of the exhaust side isn't connected either I unplugged it um, when the when the rotor is you know running through its cycle uh, only the intake side of, of, of uh, the distributors is being utilized the exhaust side isn't being used at all um, if we were if we were to um, pull out the uh, cap and look uh, at, the, at the underside you would see that the intake the uh, what are they called what are they called the um, the contact points uh, for the intake side and the contact points for the exhaust side they're all at different uh, at different heights uh, so again uh, since I since I unplugged the exhaust side uh, coil and control module only the intake side is being utilized um, all right so here's uh, the other little upgrade for the uh, ignition and this part this is for the ignition control module again so I already removed the uh, coil from the main bracket and I'm going to install this uh, newer upgraded 
and modified uh, ignition control module. I'll post a link in the description uh, of where I got it from. It kind of when I saw it, man, I kind of got excited because I uh, see this. This is a ignition control module for the uh, 93 or the D21s that are from the 90s. And looking at that, this design compared to the stock one of this one, which is 86 from the 86 D21, it's noticeably different. So how this this newer one functions has uh, this goes to the coil, this end goes to the coil, this end goes to the truck harness, and obviously this end goes to uh, to the control module, and it should allow for uh, improved uh, spark and all that good stuff. Some of them mount my phone and wire all this up real quick. Start this bad boy up.
see. Hopefully you guys can hear me over all the noise. Uh, still only have the intake uh, side uh, control module. Uh, exhaust isn't connected to anything. It's been pretty strong. Like nice and smooth. Pretty good. 